has ended. But we are not yet free. The war is over. But... We still have a score to settle. Intense stealth, deep philosophical themes, highly technical yet still digestible gameplay, and a story that, by the fourth game, had become what could only be described as a glorious mess of science fiction and political intrigue all wrapped up in a warm blanket of borderline supernatural military espionage. This is just one way to describe the gigantic epic that is Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots, but with so many ins and outs, ups and downs, and a litany of other facets to consider, surely there are many other ways to categorize it. In that, lies the magic, the genius, and the essence of the game. It's hard to imagine any other game with this level of the absurdly impossible task of tying up so many intricate loose ends and fulfilling so many unanswered questions while still being a fantastic experience in and of itself. It's an absurd challenge that likely nobody could even have a prayer of pulling off, yet Kojima took a massive stab at it anyway. If you are even passively familiar with the Metal Gear Solid franchise, Odds are that you are at least somewhat aware of its intimidating amount of lore that goes all the way back to the 8-bit days, consisting of countless instances of lies, betrayals, twists, and many apparent contradictions. This has kept many potential fans away from the series, but has also served as a wonderful journey for those who have been into it all these years gleefully scarfing up each and every installment. As with all major action stealth games, Metal Gear Solid 4 had a lot to evolve on from the last major release in the series, Metal Gear Solid 3, which really pushed the boundaries of the systems it was on and redefined what was possible in a stealth game. One boss and one snake. Metal Gear Solid 4 did have the advantage of a healthy, long development time and the power of the PlayStation 3 in its corner though, and those elements would work wonders for the game as Metal Gear Solid 4 would have the deepest stealth and most dynamic strategic freedom of anything the genre had seen. If you wanted to blow your way through the game, guns blazing, odds are you could do that at any given time. If you wanted to sneak through the game, you were generally able to do that too, even though the game was not technically an open world title, it would feature some extremely large levels with plenty of explorable paths and missable items that could be found with the right attention to detail. The sheer amount of possibilities and foresight with which the levels were designed was unparalleled at the time and even now provide an outstanding experience for gamers of many different persuasions. Another thing that Metal Gear Solid games are known for is their boss battles. While it is true that perhaps some of these don't quite match up to the insane levels of fun and creativity of the boss battles of previous Metal Gear Solid games, they were all still great, and I would highly recommend checking the pulse of anybody who says that final fight with Liquid Ocelot didn't give them goosebumps. One of the major tasks of Metal Gear Solid 4 is to wrap up all of the loose ends of the previous games as succinctly as can be done, and for all intents and purposes, somehow, it does more or less accomplish the goal of making sense out of the madness of the series up to that point. While much of that is accomplished through massively long-winded cutscenes, some of which are longer than actual feature films, it still manages to unravel the bulk of the mystery surrounding Solid Snake's origin, his connection to Big Boss, and the incalculably massive AI system that controls the bulk of the world's military and political developments. These scenes might seem cumbersome to many, and perhaps they kind of are, but at the same time, it's likely impossible that Kojima and his team could have approached the various narratives in any other way 
than to have the player passively watch them reach their various climaxes. Besides, it's reasonable to assume that Metal Gear Solid 4 is largely for the hardest of the hardcore Metal Gear fans anyway, so if they had a real problem with in-depth stories and long scenes, they probably wouldn't have made it to the fourth game anyway. So while the game did have its detractors for this method of storytelling, it's also fair to say that they should have known what they were getting into. So while Kojima somehow was able to mostly pull off that particular hemisphere of MGS4's story, there was still the other massive task of giving Guns of the Patriots its own story, with its own point and reason to exist. It couldn't just be an empty vessel of a game that only existed to solve the riddles of the previous games, and by all accounts, it surely wasn't. As Liquid Ocelot was still a powerful figure trying to lead his insurrection, Snake now rapidly aged from complications from Fox Die and very aware of his own impending expiration date, is setting on his final and most important mission of his life, to assassinate his genetically modified rival once and for all. While this is the story in a nutshell, obviously it encompasses much more than that. On his travels, Old Snake crosses the paths of many new and old characters and interacts with them in interesting ways. Everything from Drebin 893, the illegal arms dealer, a newly upgraded and therefore now much cooler Raiden, to his long lost love Meryl, who has drifted so far from Snake by that point both personally and professionally that they barely even have anything in common anymore, yet still maintain a level of respect that only the two of them can have. And they do join forces for their overlapping goal of stopping liquid. The journey takes Snake to various locations around the world, including back to the PS1 game, where many would argue the more important sectors of the Metal Gear timeline really began for a series of callbacks to the classic PS1 game and finales that remind the player of how far the story has come while simultaneously ending the stories for several of the other characters and driving Snake forward to his final act. Ultimately, by the end, the story of Solid Snake, Liquid Ocelot, Big Boss, Zero, Naomi, Vamp, and several others are all brought to their conclusions while characters like Otacon, Meryl, Johnny, and Campbell are left to continue on and hopefully live some sort of a reasonably normal life. The story of MGS4 had more character arcs to handle than just about any other story ever, and for better and for worse, it took the steps it needed to address them all as best it could. While each conclusion wasn't perfectly satisfying, it was hard to not at least respect the gargantuan feat of bringing them all to their logical ends while still giving the game a reason to exist itself all at once. No game is perfect, and I'm not going to sit here and tell you that Metal Gear Solid 4 is either, but it doesn't try to be. That's not the mission of Guns of the Patriots. It doesn't exist solely to outdo the previous games. It exists because of the passion from Metal Gear Solid fans and their desire to see these lingering questions answered and frayed storylines resolved. And that passion fueling Kojima to do his level best to bring that to the fans who had followed this insane story for in many cases decades, in accomplishing this goal, Kojima had created one of, if not his greatest work to date, a technical masterpiece in action gameplay, a brand new breed of stealth that influences games even today in terms of its flexibility, and an elegant story about opposing forces that, while they may hate each other in one way, also provide the reason for the other to exist all the same. It's about many things, political strife, the commodification of war, and ultimately what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. Metal Gear Solid 4's timeless themes and outstanding technical achievements make it easily one of the best games of all time, even though it might not be for every gamer out there. It's impossible to deny that it is, in fact, one hell of a game. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed and would like to see more, feel free to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to ensure you'll be notified when new videos go up.